Hello there, people of the internet. My name is Udua Jagero, and this is Dialogues with Jagero. We are continuing our, let's say, we call it a mini, a micro, a macro, mi- micro series about fraud and wash wash in the country. I don't hear a lot of wash wash these days, Mr. Oya. Do you think we are still having wash wash? Wale majama when you wanna, wanna under pesa mingi wana kupea. Yeah, wako. Mm. Yeah, but it's not so common like in Nairobi. But you can places come out western, uko, South Nyanza, you still get it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about betting. I think there is a lot of money in betting. Uh, there's a time I was talking to a friend of mine who works for a betting company, and he's telling me that between the, the game between... It, there is a World Cup that was, I think it was in, uh, in Brazil. Germany was playing Brazil. And everybody thought that Brazil was going to beat Germany. Mm. The game where they were beaten 7-2 or 7-1. Mm. You remember that game? Yeah. It's telling me that the company made 700 million Kenya shillings on that one match. Yeah. Because everybody just thought that it was going to be uh, Brazil winning. Mm. And it just tipped and with a lot of goals. So people that, and a lot of other people thought that it was going to be very Kitoko goals. Yeah. So most people put under, 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 two under five. Two, yes. And a lot of people lost. Mm. Like 99% of people lost in that game. They made a lot of money and he was telling me that they were given uh, uh, a bonus of <laughs> 75,000 each mm. from that, from that money. Mm. So uh, why is it that you do not advocate for betting? What is it? Who has it killed close to you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, gambling, mm. when it comes to gambling, the house always wins. Does it? Yeah. So, you see, these companies invest billions in bookmakers. So, bookmakers are companies that come up with the odds. Those are the bookmakers? Yeah. And these are companies that are contracted by betting companies to give them odds. Why do they trust them to have the odds rather than be, uh, Betika just saying that, okay, I want, I want my odds to look like this? Because it's pure maths. It's pure maths. Mm. We have to wait so many different things yeah. so that we come up with the odds. Mm. So if right now... Manchester United is playing, let's say, Arsenal. Yeah. Manchester United could have odds of three. Mm. Arsenal could have 1.8. So it's based on the current form. It's based on the players. It's based on the stadium the game will be played, the time, the weather, the referee. It's based the on... The referee? Yeah. The referee? Yeah. Why is the referee important in a game? Uh, some ref uh, some refs are known to be biased against certain teams. Yeah, like Oliver against Chelsea. There are some refs that have even confessed that I don't like this team. There are also some cases of match fixing. So you have to look at all the. Do you facts. think there is match fixing in the Premier League? Yeah, there is, but it's not, it's not very, it's not at a high level. Kama here Kenya. Kwani kuna match fixing ya 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 wazimu apa Kenya. Yeah. How so? Akuna. The Premier League. Yeah. Hi, Iko. You haven't seen the cases? No, I haven't. Odona referee kipigwa. Kwa game. <laughs> so who fixes the match in uh, in the Kenyan Premier League? Some refs, some goalkeepers. Mm. Mm. Eko. So goalkeepers take that uh, they, that his team will lose. Yeah. And then goes and make makes a, and make a mix a mistake. Yeah. There are many ways to fix a game. How? What are the ways of fixing a game? A football game. Yeah. Uh, through the referees. Mm-hmm. Uh, through players, uh, through coach. 
so there are various ways so much fixing eco but sasa in EPL it's not very profound as some of these small small leagues all over the world mm. yeah who is who is who is much fixing the game is it the bookmaker is it sport pesa uh, and somebody like sport pesa betika betway who is actually fixing it uh, mostly now it's bookmakers and big betting companies you just look at who is going to benefit if we fix a, a game who is going to benefit that's why it's even like in EPL if you are a player you are not allowed to to bet which i find very very interesting because the shot is a, the shot sponsor is a betting company and you're playing in it and you're not allowed to bet yeah because you can fix matches like if antoni last year was banned for like eight months yeah. because he was gambling you so know then, you, so, you, so then you will refuse to score yeah that is the assumption you yeah. refuse to score yeah you you can bet i will not score you can imagine if you allow someone like ronaldo to bet he can bet and say today i'm scoring three goals or he can he can bet on himself not to score na sa hiyo new autumn maker he will score because they are playing a small team yeah or he's he's on form so he just goes to the field and just does crazy things yeah so they they are not allowed to you, you see you can even bet someone to get a red card yeah you can bet on someone to get a red card but when you go to the betting dashboard it is already there that uh, rice will get a red card yeah and then now rice knowing that he has bet to get a red card he goes and gets a red card yeah and puts uh, and puts let's say uh, 100000 on himself yeah against a bet of 6.0 mm-hmm. so that's why they are not allowed to bet mm yeah i get the idea so you you can imagine uh, like you see for them they they are serious with it they they are tracking it but if i was playing in kenya premier league do you league, know how they track it by the way you see now like in in developed countries they even know how much you make the taxes you are paying so they can trace every member of your family and we can see that your brother was placing a bet on your on your game Oh I see. Yeah. Like they don't bet directly like Ah uh, they don't bet directly. Yeah. So it's like I'm your brother you are playing so I go and place a bet or I give now my friend to place a bet. Now you see they can track. But then when 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 they find out that brother ya Tony alikuwa na bet why do they assume that it is Tony that was betting through his brother? So I mean, they can see the bets you are making if you are making hefty hefty bets on that game those specific games if if let's say you're playing in Kenya Premier League right now yes you are earning 30000 per month and you can bet on something you fix a game and you maybe your relative stakes like 100000 and they get like 500000 don't you see it's something mo- mo- many people will do mm. yeah and you see in kenya uh, who will come to track you no one yeah so basically the premier league is tracking all you, most of your family members yeah they do a lot of before someone like ivan tony is caught it's a lo- it's a, a full investigation but how do they even start the full investigation is it a tip off or what what happens but you see now for them they have systems and they they have people who th- that's their job to track people who are betting yeah and you see like in countries like australia so- some of those european countries you are even limited as to how much you can bet so if we know you earn 
we can only allow you to bet maybe maximum 20,000. So they control it. And that's something in Kenya we need to have. Okay, so then because because uh, we are asking ourselves, if you are earning only 30,000, yeah. where are you getting 100,000 to bet? Yeah. Somebody is giving it to you. And yeah. who is giving it to you? It's your brother paying for, uh, uh, you know, uh, playing for Sony Sugar. Yeah. And, and you see, that also controls now addiction and crime. Because if you have a university student gambling 100,000 per month, and they're not earning. So this is help money, which doesn't amount to that. This is probably his school fees, pocket money, or he took someone's laptop, sold it, and gambled that cash. So if we can limit people based on their income, we can control a lot of what we are seeing in Kenya. Because now we have people going into debt so that they can finance the gambling. Uh, so gambling is no longer is no longer something they like, but something that they're hooked onto, which basically means they're addicted to gambling. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the new the new the new the new the new boy in town, Evieta. Uh -huh. I saw guys uh, on a border border, and they were saying that that Evieta is the best game that they have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You know, I don't know how the story is going right now. I don't know whether it's still the it is is still the the best the best uh, gambling thing they've ever seen. Emma. What do you think they are doing now? What do you think is their is their new? Uh, have they come to reality? Avieta is the best thing that happened to Kenyan gambling sites. Oh yes, is Co that so? Because they were dying after the the taxes that were imposed on gambling sites, uh, gambling was not the same. They were not making as much money. Then uh, they discovered now Aviator. And that's, uh, that's the main source of revenue right now for betting companies. It is not taxed? It's taxed, but it's a lot. The revenue stream is huge. It's huge and it's very addictive. It takes uh, seconds, so people are spending so much money on Aviator. Okay. Yeah, so you have people, school fees, rent, salaries, uh, people stealing from employers so that they can place bets on Aviator. Mm. Why is it, okay, I want to ask you two questions. How does it work? How does Aviator work and why is it, why is the addiction to it higher than most of the most 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 gambling elements okay so mm. the first concept was you have a line and this line is in going up then we have multiples so 1 1.1 1 1.3 1.4 if you two five it can go even as high as 30. if you stop uh, the line uh, before it hits a certain number if you stop it at 5.9 you get 5.9 times what you staked what you staked so let's say you are playing with a thousand if you stop it at 5.9 if the line was still going up you get 5900 but if it stops before you stop it you lose you lose the 1,000. Yeah. That's pretty easy to do. Is on, it? On paper. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, uh -huh. it's not. Okay, so you see now it's you versus the computer. Yeah. Yeah, so it can start and even stop at 1.2. Really? Yeah, it can even stop at 1.0. So everyone loses. Everyone loses if it stops at 1.0? Yeah. Because you can't stop it before 1.0. <laughs> and there's no strategy you can apply that is going to be consistent because you can say, okay, I'm going to stop it at two every other time. So if it goes above two, you're going to win. But if it goes, let's say 1.3, 1.4, 1.7, you're losing all that. So sometimes someone can be lucky. It can even go up to 10. Then you 10x what you had. 
but now the the following games they still get their money back so what makes it addictive initially it was a line then they came with this concept of now aviator so they made it up a plane so it's like it's taking off ah before i be, because i've always thought that it has always been a line they changed it it used to be just a line but nowadays now they use a plane so just a conversation a hey, pilot pilot and then now the sounds it has some it has a, a sound that's playing when the plane is moving then there's a distinct sound when the plane is flying away that <laughs> so if you look at addiction and addiction is all about cues and all that now the psychology when someone just hears those sounds it stimulates now their dopamine it's like the casino when someone hears the sounds they king king mm. king yeah so it makes it very addictive and then now the fact that this game is taking seconds because you see initially you are gam- gambling on maneuvers as a senor you stake in the morning the game is at night you have to wait you have to wait for the game you see you have to wait all that time but aviator it's instant within a minute you have played even five times mm. Mm. then now it's easy to deposit you just deposit money you play you play you deposit more but then why why do they, why do people think that uh they can make a career out of it because even in in, in entire the the entire betting industry there are people who claim that they are career betters and i'm just wondering if you're a career better uh if you're betting as a career does it mean that you are you are paying rent you are eat, you are you are eating uh and uh, you know every and you're paying school fees through betting ama how do you believe that there can be a career somebody who, who takes betting as a career and they eat off it mm a uh, very few people can make a, a living from betting very few people you know the people who benefit from betting number one is the government through taxes and uh, number two we have the betting companies number 3 we have the bookmakers number 4 we have now the betting gurus the guy who's mm-hmm. going to sell you now the the betting odds he'll tell you that you need to bet on these teams and they are going to win so give me a thousand bob i sell you this betting odds so those are the guys who are benefiting you as the gambler as the person who's going to place your money on the bet you are feeding all these people yeah so it's very hard like you can't see anyone even globally who is making money from just betting you see when we, when we talk about gambling in terms of maybe playing poker you see that is a skill poker is a skill you can be skilled at counting cards like if you are playing poker and like the normal one we play in Kenya if we are playing for money if i'm better than you i'll always win because i can count the cards i can see uh we have this number of sixes have been dropped this number of uh blacks or reds so there's a way you can count and you can even tell from the card someone is holding their their probability of having a certain if you are keen mm. you can always tell let me just give you an example if you are playing cards and we have diamonds on top you know how to play cards no okay like if just you, explain the audience will understand if you have diamonds on top uh then you you pick a card it means you don't have a diamond to play yes so if the game goes around like three times then you have picked some cards then we drop some cards and uh, then you have said you, you want to finish the game 
and I have an A. If you have an A, you can ask for any card you want. So I can ask for diamond because I know you you didn't have diamond. Yes. Yeah. So there's those tricks that you can use if you're smart. You'll always win. That's why we have gamblers who can play something like poker and win. But now when you talk about now gambling, like the casinos and the aviator, it's you versus AI. Mm. Yeah, so there's no way you, you can beat the algorithm. Mm. Yeah, then when now, if it's now the games like Premier League, if you if you're someone who watches f- football, you can predict. You can say Chelsea they are not in form, <laughs> Man City they are in form. Like those ones, you can at least try. But everyone just says, "I know a friend. I know a friend who bets for a living." No one does it. Mm. Everyone just knows someone who does it, but they because don't. they are and they are probably lying. Yeah, because if I lose a bet, I won't come to show you. But if I win, I'll show you. So, like, there, there was someone who came to my DM so angry, like, a young guy, uh, why, what are you talking about? I pay my bills using uh, betting and all this and all this. I told him, uh, for the past one month, just check your Mpesa. How much have you sent to the platform versus how much have you withdrawn? So when he did the maths, Kanambia, eh? <laughs> Yenyewe, kumbe, these guys uh, are making money from me. Because you see, when you're gambling, you don't even realize it. You lose money, then you you call your friend, eh? It's idea 10K. So you're just, that money, you, you're, you're just getting into debt, into debt, into debt, until it reaches a point you can't access debt, then you start selling things. Yeah. I hope that you're enjoying this program. Over the last 15 years, I have been working online for clients in America, in Europe, and all over the world. And that is why it pains me a lot when I see a lot of African brothers and sisters saying that they do not have a job. Now, this is the problem. A lot of people are trying to look for a job in 2024 in their own town, in their, in their local area. Now, the truth is, There are no jobs in Africa, at least not so many jobs. The good news is that we have internet these days. We have a tablet, we have a computer, we have a phone. And that means that we can do a lot of jobs. And those jobs are online. That is why over the last four years, I've been writing a book that is called Digital Goldmine. It's a book that explains to you how you can earn money online. The 18 hustles that I've chosen are basically for Africans. Because what happens when you are doing uh, online jobs is that payment is usually a problem. So this 18 side hustle that I have put together in this book, you can be paid very well and very conveniently. Okay, so the book is only a thousand Kenya shillings. That is about $10. You can buy it in Kenya using pay bill number. You can buy it online from anywhere in the world using a credit or a debit card. All the information about this book is in the description below. And if you have a brother, you have a wife, you have a husband, you have a friend who is sitting at home and watching Netflix, please do buy this book for them. If you are the one sitting at home and watching Netflix and have nothing to do, please buy this book and your life is gonna change forever. Because I have been doing this online and I've been traveling and I've been enjoying myself and having a lot of fun. So thank you very much and now back to programming. There is a guy that you said that was, that was, uh, that lost a million on, on, can you tell me that story? How did it go? Why was, I mean, I've had people losing money, but losing millions. Yeah, so this guy uh, sent me a DM last year saying that he lost, I think, 5, 5.9 million last year uh, through av- Aviator. Through Aviator? Yeah. He put all that money on the system. So... At that time, uh, probably I didn't believe it. I just thought it's someone who's joking with, with my time. So this guy called me a few weeks ago, and he was like, my friend, I sent you a text last year. You ignored. 
if you could have helped me maybe right now i wouldn't be gambling i've just lost eight, i've just lost 890000 in two days on aviator and it's a true story i'm not lying to you let me send you the screenshots the ones i uploaded in that video so he was depositing 50000 he plays he plays he loses he deposits another like 50k then it reached a point now he's depositing like 20k 13k you can just see the trend until all these things you were seeing in his in his deposits yeah he sent me the empesa texts mm. mm like how many of them more than five of them yeah so many you can imagine be, be, before you have uh, by the time you have 890000 that's a lot mm, within two days so within two days yeah like from evening till the next day around noon he had lost 890000 yeah oh, man that is that is some 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 crazy addiction yeah and it's so many people like even after that video like my phone i was receiving so many phone calls so someone calls they start giving you the story of how they are gambling like 30 minutes unamaliza mwingine eh so I, i'm i'm a therapist but i'm not being paid <laughs> <laughs> why don't they give you some of that gambling money in terms of therapy fees i don't know cuz there are people someone comes hey i've lost 500,000 in gambling hey ni 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 I tell them oh, yeah, you can do this 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 eh hey, thanks thanks so oh, yeah thanks after 3 weeks eh hey, bro wa many nyorosha tena 200000 i'm like you want me to listen to this again you can't even buy me lunch <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you something oh, yeah. mm. uh the guy that lost 5. Point, uh, something million and then lost another one close to a million where is he getting the money to pay all that gambling why does he do? he runs a, a, a successful business so he makes like 60k per day mm. but sasa yote inaenda tu kwa gambling then you find people like like there's a guy who sent me a text yesterday he's separated with the wife uh, the wife is a very successful professional but she has been taking loans to finance aviator so she took a circle loan like 1.5 million she took a loan with the bank she has debt from her friends so uh, she is no longer uh, helping out in the in the family and all that so the guy was like he can't deal with that mm. yeah so he just separated with the wife uh, who introduces people to a, to a theater is it there is a lot of marketing around it yeah and mostly it's the environment what what about the environment like if you are in campus and everyone is betting you just find yourself betting if you are a boda boda guy and everyone around you is gambling you'll find yourself gambling So when gambling came in terms of now the online gambling when it came to Kenya it started in universities Really yeah then now it spread outside Hmm because you see in campus once anything that has to do with money and scams and all this they start in universities Really yeah bitcoin forex all these things uh, they start in universities why do you think that's the case these are the guys who are always online they are well informed you see b- uh, before your your parent starts gambling it takes time but for you as a university student because when you go to class in the hostels when you go to watch games wherever you are if people are gambling around you, you you're going to know about it very fast mm. but now what happens to these people that are addicted do you know how how they're supposed to be helped to get out of addiction 
we have some counselors who uh, assist people. Like if it's advanced, you can seek professional help. But mostly it's just a matter of self-awareness and just deciding on your own. You can just decide I'm not going to be doing this or I'm going to do it to a limit. If it's getting you into debt, you're stealing, you're spending your school fees on it, then you have to take action. So uh, for you to get out of a betting betting site, you have to write them an email, you have to attach your ID, requesting them to deregister you. But you can just stop using it. How? Do, do you have, I mean, I mean, you're the one who is depositing money. If you, dep if you don't deposit money, you don't have a, you, you don't bet. Yeah, but you see an addict, you have the phone, you have the bundles. So how, how, is, how is writing to them helping you? They can ban you, they can deactivate your account permanently. So you can't log in even if you want. Oh, okay, with, with your number or with your email? Yeah. So that is what people that are addicted are supposed to do. That is the best way to go about it, to it, ask them to deregister you. Yeah, because you see, if you go and just log out, you're going to log in again. But you see, even the process of them deregistering you, it's a tedious process to discourage people from getting out. So there are a few companies, if you write them an email, you attach your ID, you request them to deregister you, they'll do it. But there are some you can't deregister. They will just, they will just ignore it. Mm -hmm. So you'll always be a slave to that. Unless, <laughs> unless you just decide or something happens, you see, for most people, uh, if you switch the environment, you can get out of it. Because, mm. like, right now, many people gamble in campus. When you finish campus, you start working, you have responsibilities. You just find yourself, you are no longer interested in it so much. But there are people who still find themselves mm. uh, going back to gambling. But then, so, there are two things here that I see. Uh, because you talked about the aviator airplane and the specific sounds and the chimes that 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 it produces when you either fail or when it's taking off or when it goes red or green or whatever it is. So there is the dopamine heat that you're getting. Is that the only thing or you think that it is a matter of anger that I am not I mean I have lost so much money I need to recover my money. Which one is it? Is it the dopamine or it is the anger of trying to, to get what you've lost or trying to succeed? Yeah, mostly it's just hope. Like you have hope in the wrong thing and also greed. Because you see this is someone who, like you can see someone depositing 10 bob and they want now this 10 bob like they want to gamble these 10 shillings to make it into thousands. There are guys who call me at 2 a.m. Send, yeah. Sending me text at 2 a.m. Hey, bro, to me, 30 bob, ni buy sapa, me, ni comrade. Where ni comrade, Aje? University students. To me, 30 bob, ni buy sapa at 2 a.m. So I just know he ni pesa yavieta na tag. Really? Yeah, sapagani unanunua sanani usiku. Hata kambres, chanadia kambu isha funga. Yeah, so this guy just wants, like, maybe he had, like, 500, imeenda, 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 so now, they just want, like, 30 boba yake ajaribu kurudisha, rudisha. Ah, irudi. Yeah. So they will ask for their brother for another 100 bob. Mm -hmm. They will send, why is this guy asking me for 100 bob? Because you have it, you'll just send it. Yeah. Uh, ulize kuzo wingine amtumie. Yeah. And so it reaches a point no one can send you any cash anymore. So you have a laptop, kwa Shylock, you get 3K, aviator, gone. You starting steal you start stealing. Yeah, you take now your friend's laptop. Because you are at the Shylock. Yeah. 
then you take somebody else's music system yeah so it's it's a real menace like gambling can be allowed but it should be regulated you you don't think kenya do you think kenya lacks the capacity to regulate it or it goes back to the to the you remember when i asked you why dci is not involved kuniambia kuna chenye wanapata so gava gava does is not when they introduced taxes i thought that that was a, 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 a part of control they didn't introduce taxes to control betting they introduced it to get money from it their interest is not controlling it really yeah the betting companies were making billions so how can we get something from this but they were getting they were paying taxes any other company why was this they were not paying uh taxes initially from the stake and from you you could bet 500 and if you win uh odds are two you get a thousand bob but now if you bet 500 already they deduct something so your stake is calculated as around 460 or something then when you win there's part of it which is also taxed when you stake it is taxed yeah when you win it is taxed yeah before even game yan the government already has something so whether you win or lose shauri yako au sha pata so they make money from it what are some of the controls that out there that that are out there that that are not that are should be introduced in the country first uh, most people drowning in aviator are very young people you see the age of campus guys between 17 to 22 help fees pocket money so first you can increase the age limit have it at around 24 oh yeah yeah that will solve a big it will cut off a lot of students it will have a huge impact how do you think they will enforce that you can enforce it you know you you, you can limit uh we we can say that as let's say safaricom we can block you from depositing to betting sites oh i see yeah like the way they do for the teenagers if a teenager is using mpesa go they can't deposit money to betting sites that's 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 a reality yeah you know there is mpesa for teenagers yes it's called mpesa go they can't access these sites they can't d- pay money into these sites what does it tell you when you try to pay it it can't you you see it's just control on their side you see they they, they can even deny you access to the sites mm. yeah like even as a parent you can restrict your your children's browser not to visit like porn sites mm, that's yeah true. so that control is something that is very possible so we can say 24 years you can't access a betting site i am always interested before we go on i'm always interested in this mpesa go thing what what is the reason why safari community do state it's for teenagers yeah Yeah so you see these days most things are paid for through Mpesa. So if your child is going maybe to the movies or swimming they can pay using Mpesa Go. Like the teenagers in high school and like they can use Mpesa Go if they are using Uber. Then now there's the aspect now of saving. Yeah they can save. So they are not allowed to withdraw I think. They are not allowed but you can send them money they can pay like if it's swimming yeah i wonder why they call it a pesa go because that doesn't sound like a child that's that sounds like an adult on the go 
<laughs> why, why? Why did they? Why, teenagers. Hmm? Yeah, they, you remember the way they called that account? There is an account in KC. I don't know whether it was. I don't know whether it was. There was a very fancy card for a particular bank for campus students. Mm. You remember it? Yeah. It was called something. Yeah. Yeah, account. Cop bank. Yeah, it was called what? Yeah. Yeah, account. Mm. Yeah. I think that was a very, uh, that sounds like a good name, but saying in Pesa Go, I mean, <laughs> does it strike you as something for children? It's for teenagers. I think it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Hmm. Any other thing that they can they can do to restrict betting? Uh, for betting, you can also restrict people, like, based on their income. So if you earn 100,000, we only allow you to bet maybe 10% per month. So you can, the, the maximum bet that you can stake is 20,000 or 10,000. Yeah. Once you've, once you've, once you've, once you've, uh, you've, you've staked 10,000, that is the end of you for that month. Yeah, we can limit the amount you can deposit in betting. But state. now the problem is that how about if, uh, if there are, there are 10, there are 10 uh, uh, sites, betting sites? But they are, they are in your name. Mm. Yeah. No, but how will bet we know that uh, Betika, uh, you have already squandered all your money on Betika? No, you see, this control is by the government. It's not by the betting company. It's by the government. I know. Mm. But once... A and you know it's there. Like in uh, Australia... I have clients who are there, and you can't just gamble the way you gamble here. It's limited. Even if you go to the casino, there's an amount you are allowed based on your income. Oh, that is very interesting. But here, you find a campus student gambling 100000 in a month. So you ask yourself, where is this money coming from? But the question I'm asking, I don't know whether we are understanding each other, eh? Mm. You have, let's say, Uduri Jagero, who is, supposed, who is allowed by the government to only bet twenty thousand in a month. Yeah. But then, how does how does how does how does the, all these companies know that I've I've expended this much? No, see, control through. How do you, for any person to deposit money in a betting site? Yes. It goes through M-Pesa. All of it. Yeah. M-Pesa is the only way you can deposit money right now mm. to a betting site. So we can just restrict your M-Pesa. <laughs> <laughs> we just restrict your M-Pesa? Yeah. It's very easy. It's something... You so saw, la, la, I think, last week, Starlink, mm. uh, Safaricom, there's a time they, they, they restricted the payments to Starlink through M-Pesa. Or oh, they restricted? Yeah, did you hear that? No, I did not. Yeah, Walinyonga. <laughs> Bakasai. I don't know if it's still there. But Walinyonga, you, you can't pay st Starlink. It, it even trended. Mm, they only allow you to pay them through bank cards. You can only pay them through bank cards. Yeah, Sasa Ujipange. Because you see now they are in competition with Safaricom. But everybody else is in. There are so many people in competition with Safaricom. You can always pay something through Airtel to Airtel money through Mpesa. Why would they? Why would they refuse? Starlink. I mean, that's against the law. Yeah, but so they did it. How <laughs> 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 mm. Yeah. But then if I if I have, uh, I can take my brother's number and send money to my account. No. You, you can, like right now, you can. No, no, no. When that, when that, when that law is is operational. No, you, you see, when you enforce a law, you, you see, you see all the loopholes. Mm. See, at the end of the day, the money is coming to so, your your account. So we we can we can we can say that only one line can we can only receive money through your Mpesa line. Yeah. If it is on another line, it is not coming. Mm. It's very easy. You can any very fast. <laughs> any other thing that we can do to control it? 
Uh, then now there is now the just educating people on the dangers. Uh, I I feel like the betting companies bear some responsibility. They need to bear that responsibility of creating. You mean awareness. like 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 beer companies are supposed to help people with alcohol addiction? Yeah. <laughs> you see the way if you buy a cigarette. They have photos of people with lung cancer and <laughs> men with low libido on the cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, so we need such signs on there. Before you log in there, we have to see that photo. Yeah. Uh, of somebody walking in the, in the gutter. Yeah. Having uh, lost all money. Yeah. Mm. Like they need, we need, uh, we need also to limit now the marketing. The marketing for bet. For yeah. Bet, uh, yeah. I, I hear that the Premier League is trying to take away the shirt sponsorship from mm. uh, from the from the Premier League teams. Yeah, they need to. We need to regulate also the marketing. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, it's very it's very it's very nice talking to you for opening our eyes. I hope that uh, everybody has their eyes open. It's a very dark world out there. Money is very uh, is very difficult to come by, and if somebody just going to pour money in a in a you know in a bottomless pit yeah it's 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 not nice mm. but the world is a very strange place bro things are happening and everybody is a victim of something we're a victim of the government we're a victim <laughs> of the of the of of the telcos we're a victim of everybody mm. so i think it takes just one you to be a, a bit smarter on where you are you know you avoid other, you you avoid as many as you can Become a victim of many of many many people and many businesses as possible. Yeah, there are, there are people who can control their gambling. There's someone who just bets maybe on the Premier League on Saturdays. Uh, there's someone who'll just bet maybe when they are watching a particular game. They just want to enjoy it. But if you find yourself uh, at two a.m. <laughs> an- analyzing 30, games uh, or asking for thirty ball, yeah. Then just know apa kunashida. Apa kunashida. Yeah, and it's a very serious. Like every day, I receive five to ten messages of people threatening to commit suicide. Yeah. Mm. Because him, 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 Yeah, like hey, bro, me in Tajua. Hey, my family is gone. My wife is gone. I've lost my job. So you lose a job. You lose a wife. You lose. You lose your kids. Because of gambling, yeah, and it can only become worse and worse and worse. Mm. So it's it's something very serious. Like sometimes even I I wonder how to to have Yeah, because mm. there are, there are people like there's a lady we, we we really had a discussion like hey, you need to do this, you need to do this. Yeah. Like two months, she, she wasn't gambling. There are women also gamble. Juicy and text. Women, you, you know a lot of women who gamble? Wengi sana. Really? Yeah, I just told you the guy who separated with the wife because the wife took multiple loans. To gamble? Yeah. I thought it was a, it was a, it was a, it, it was, it was the scene of men. Aye. What men can do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my friend. <laughs> w- women also can do. Uh, Thank day. you very much. <laughs> people of the internet, how do people find you online? Please tell me before we close. Levelin Ovia mm. on all platforms. Mm. I'm on LinkedIn. The name is so difficult, it had to be Levelin for everything. Levelin Ovia, mm. yeah. LinkedIn, Twitter. Facebook, YouTube, mm. Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. All platforms. Mm. Thank you very much. Until another episode, bye for now.